relation of error function with ordinary hypergeometric function and incomplete gamma function okay so basically in this video we'll try to uh, derive these relationships by going through the definition of r of x function but before we begin with this uh, let's define hypergeometric function incomplete gamma function and error function first so hypergeometric function uh, basically ordinary hypergeometric function for input a b and c and z this is defined as sum going from n equals to 0 to infinity rising factorial of a rising factorial of b by rising factorial of c g to the power n by n factorial where rising factorial symbol stands for k k plus 1 uh, up to k plus n minus 1 if k is the number of in the center and n is the base yeah so this is the definition of rising factorial and uh, basically since there are two variables in numerator we have written two over here and there's one variable so one over here and if it is two two then we will have a comma b semicolon c comma d semicolon z and a of n b of n by c of n d of n g to the power n by n factorial so that's the uh, hypersymmetric function now uh, let's go to incomplete gamma function so basically we know that integral from 0 to infinity e to the power minus t or t to the power n minus 1 dt this is known as gamma of n yeah uh, sorry uh, this is this minus one over here is in the power yeah okay dt this is known as gamma of n yeah now if if uh, the case is like this let's say if we have integral from x to infinity e to the power minus t t to the power n minus one dt yeah so in this case our we define in complete gamma function as n comma x so that means gamma of n comma zero is our normal gamma function yeah so this is the definition of incomplete gamma function and now the last thing is r function so r of x is defined as integral from uh, zero to x of e to the power minus t squared dt yeah. so this is our uh, r function yeah now let's try, try to draw the relationships so for that for the first one we first need to have a stellar expansion and then only we can take it to the this form yeah so let's try to take the Taylor expansion we know that its stellar expansion is just minus t squared to the power n by n factorial and the sum when n goes from 0 to infinity of dt now let's extend the sum and integral so we have sum going from n equals to 0 to infinity and its integral will be uh, minus 1 to the power n will be as it is and then t to the power 2n plus 1 by 2n plus 1 and over here n factorial will be as it is and this integral is from 0 to x yeah so we have sum from n equals to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power n this is x to the power 2n plus 1 by n factorial times 2n plus 1 and then minus 0 so doesn't matter so now to take to uh, have the hypersymmetric function representation for r of x this should be equal to sum from n equals to 0 to infinity of a base n b base n by c base n and then g to the power n by n factorial yeah so now um, we cannot really like see how to compare but uh, we can compare in a way that means we can take uh, the t n plus 1 term by n term ratio from both the sides 
and then compare this ratio from here it will be minus 1 and then x square uh, by n plus 1 and then 2n plus 3 by 2n plus 1 so this will be the ratio in this side yeah now over here that will be a plus n yeah uh, b plus n is it yeah because n plus one by nth means yeah this will remain and then c plus nth and then z by over here it will be n plus one now we can compare these two so this says that mm, basically n plus one n plus one is same yeah and now we can further try write this as n plus one by two by n plus three by two yeah and then n plus 1 over here and then minus x square we can write it like this yeah is it yeah and now over here it's a plus n uh, b plus n by c plus n g by n plus 1 yeah so now if we compare this two now we need to have uh, let's say b as 1 by 2 yeah and then c as 3 by 2 and plus 1 and plus 1 same if c can be uh, 3 by 2 a can be 1 by 2 now uh, uh, a w should not exist like there should not be any a, a such a thing yeah so that a plus n won't be there and now g should be minus x square yeah so uh, this will be the representation of hypersymmetric function but one thing to note over, note over here is since we are considering ratio the ratios of both the functions will be same yeah but individual terms we cannot guarantee right now for that we again need to check something mm. okay and i forgot something over here so this is not the or function actually uh, this is actually root pi by 2 times or function i did not consider that so whatever the series will be that will be of root pi by 2 times r of x yeah sorry for that and now also uh, the first term in the Taylor expansion oh, over here since n is 0 the first term will be g to the power 0 yeah so that's why it will be 1 but over here first term should be x yeah so that's why uh, whatever uh, we get uh, the hypersymmetric series of the dash and b is 1 by 2 c is 3 by 2 and g is minus x square yeah now we also need to multiply this by x because first term is not 1 first term is actually uh, x over here yeah so that's why and uh, also this is just for root pi by 2 times r of x so this hypergeometric series is for root pi by 2 times r of x so that's why now for r of x that will be 2 by root pi times x and then 2 f1 dash 1 by 2 3 by 2 minus x square so this is how we represent uh, this function in terms of hypergeometric series now let's see how to represent this in terms of incomplete beta function this one is easier so we know that r of x is actually uh, integral from 0 to x again again i'm forgetting root pi by root that thing yeah so i think basically over here it's root pi by 2 let me write it pi by 2 equals to r of x equals to integral from 0 to x and then e to the power minus t square dt now uh, what can we do is uh, we can uh, okay so now let's substitute y as t square that gives us y to the power 1 by 2 is as t and then 1 by 2 y to the power minus 1 by 2 dy as dt yeah okay mm -hmm. so that gives us uh, but one thing is okay so l l let's do it first 
integral from 0 to x square yeah and now this is uh, e to the power minus y it is 1 by 2 y to the power minus 1 by 2 dy so we have 1 by 2 times integral from 0 to x square of e to the power minus y y to the power minus 1 by 2 times dy okay so now this can be written as uh, 1 by 2 integral from 0 to infinity of e to the power minus y y to the power minus 1 by 2 dy minus integral from uh, x square to infinity yeah e to the power minus y y to the power minus 1 by 2 and then uh, dy okay so now we know that this is just gamma 1 by 2 that's just root pi uh, minus now this is just a uh, gamma of x square yeah so not gamma of x square gamma of 1 by 2 comma x square gamma of 1 by 2 comma the beginning value is x square and so this is root pi by 2 minus incomplete gamma function of 1 by 2 comma x square by 2 and uh, this is actually uh, root pi by 2 times r of x yeah yeah and uh, so if we uh, divide both sides by root pi by 2 what will we get we get r of x is equals to 1 minus gamma 1 by 2 comma x square by root pi yeah and yeah i think this is the relation between r of x and incomplete gamma function and with uh, let me erase this okay no fine so r of x goes to 1 minus gamma 1 by 2 comma x square by the root pi uh, this is the lesson between r of x and incomplete gamma function this one is between r of x and uh, hypergeometric series and one thing i can add over here is um, gamma of n comma infinity that's just zero yeah, yeah you can see that so these are the relations of pillar function with incomplete gamma function ordinary hypergeometric function for ordinary hypergeometric function we just compare the taylor's expansions for this we convert it uh, to the gamma function using uh, use of station and uh, that was it hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos too